Did you watch my other video where I showed you how to update the storage in your ROG Ally? And now you're wondering, how do I install Windows 11 on it? Well, stick around, I'm about to show you. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Havoc. Like I said in the intro, I have another video that I go over how to upgrade the storage in your ROG Ally. And now it's time to do a fresh install of Windows 11 on the device. Let me head over to our demo table and we'll get started on showing you how to install Windows 11. Before we get into that, you gotta make sure the micro SD card slot is empty. So I'm gonna pop my card out. And the reason is the Ally sometimes likes to install Windows to their card, and that's not what you want. So an additional thing is it's going to ask you at some point to make sure the original plug is plugged in to power the device. You don't need that yet, but just make sure it's available. First thing we're gonna do, is we need to get in the BIOS. Most of the time, if you have a brand new drive in it, you boot it up, it's gonna put you right into the cloud recovery feature. But in case it doesn't, let me show you how to get into the BIOS and do that. You'll hit the power button to turn it on. As soon as it turns on, you'll start pressing the volume down button a lot until it gets you into the BIOS. So I'll go ahead and hold down the power button, power it on. Now I'm gonna start pressing the volume down button a bunch. And there you go, now we're into the BIOS. And what we wanna do is go into the advanced options. So you can either press down here where it says advanced mode or press Y. And then you wanna go over here to the second option, which is advanced. And then the top option is cloud recovery. It might be a little blurry here on the camera, but just those are the steps you do. So then we'll hit A to go into cloud recovery. And it's going to come in here and check the network and see if we are set up on our network. Right now we are not because you know it's fresh into the BIOS. So we'll click next and that's gonna ask us what network do we wanna to connect to. Go ahead and connect it to whatever Wi-Fi network you want. And then you'll hit confirm after you put in your password for your network. It'll say connection successful. If it doesn't, it'll put you back there and have you try it again. Then say cloud recovery, is this what you want? FYI, it's going to delete everything on the drive. We'll go yes, because that's what we want, we're brand new. Now we'll start downloading all the files we need. So the Ally will reboot a few times and continue to download the software and install software. Right now it says just a moment, but it's gonna go through some more reboots. So just be patient with it. Now that we're here at the window screen, I'm gonna switch us over to the computer just so you can see a little better on how to navigate some of these screens. Let's head over to computer. All right, so I have the Ally plugged into a capture card and I'm just recording this out of OBS. So we'll go through it here. For me, my region is United States, so I'll choose that. That's the right keyboard layout. Obviously choose whatever keyboard layout you wish. Don't want to add a second keyboard, I do not, so I'll skip. Then here's kind of the interesting part. Windows wants you to utilize a Microsoft account for Windows 11. What that's gonna do is that's gonna copy all your profile stuff that are across your maybe multiple computers to the Ally. I originally did this one time and it copied like all my desktop stuff to the Ally and it was a mess. So I'm gonna show you how to get around that. First up, we do need to connect to a wireless network. So you can go ahead and choose whatever wireless network you have. If you are docked with the Ally, you might be able to plug in a network cable. Uh, but for this, I am going to go with wireless. So I'll choose my wireless and I will say it is much easier if you plug in like a Bluetooth or a USB wireless keyboard and mouse to get through this as opposed to the baby screen on the Ally, but use whatever you have. So we'll connect to our network. And when it connects to your network, it's gonna go and do various things like download drivers and software. One of the major things in the ASUS kind of ecosystem is their Armory Crate software. I have a lot of ASUS devices at our house. All of our computers are ASUS motherboards and then our Laptop is also an Asus laptop. Obviously here we have the Ally. So I'm very well versed in the Armory Crate ecosystem as you will. After it connects to your network, you'll just hit the next button. It wants us to accept the Windows agreement. We'll just go ahead and do accept. Wants us to name our device. This is whatever the device is gonna show up as on the network. So go ahead and type in wherever you want it to be. Then you'll click next. Goes back into a little spinny Windows. Just a moment. It's gonna be downloading more stuff, installing stuff in the background. And again, just be patient with it. It does sometimes take a while. You see how it had that no signal just there for a moment. 
That's because I am on a capture card and the ally rebooted. So the capture card was saying no signal. But here we are going back into Windows. This whole setup thing we're doing here is called the UBI, the out of box experience. This is what system builders do when they're shipping computers out. So they'll build up a computer, they'll install Windows on it, they'll log into it, and then they'll go and make sure all the drivers and stuff are installed, all of their software. And then once that's all confirmed, they'll put it into the out of box experience, which then kind of resets it to this process that we're going through now and lets us set it up and make it ours. This is where it wants you to use your Microsoft account. So what you can do is click sign in and don't worry, we're not actually gonna do it. And then it's gonna ask us here for our username and password. So for your username, just type admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then next, ask for the password. Just type admin again, A-D-M-I-N, then we'll do sign in. And then it says, oops, something went wrong, that's fine. We'll do next. And then it's just gonna bypass the Microsoft account like that. So whatever you do, unless you really want all your stuff copied to your ally from like your desktop, don't sign in with your Microsoft account. Then it wants to know who is going to be using this. Give that person you know, a name. It's gonna be me, obviously. So we'll do Havoc. And then you'll type in whatever password you want here. Remember, this is the local login, not a Microsoft account login. Then all your privacy stuff, I uncheck all this because I don't want it all going to Microsoft. So I'm just gonna uncheck it all here. It's kind of hard to do on the, the Allies keyboard and or the Ally control stick. So I have a keyboard and mouse or a trackpad hooked up to it wirelessly. We'll accept, I don't want to do any of the advertising stuff. I don't want to do anything from Asus. Uh, I don't want to get anything from Asus, no notifications, etc. And this is specific to Asus because it is the ally that we're installing. It's the image they have for this device. Now you can see Windows is doing its thing here, getting stuff set up. This is very standard. And hey, hurrah, here we are. We are Windows 11 clean installation on the ROG Ally. We really didn't have to do much of anything. Now it's gonna wanna go through and set up any additional things you have installed, but this is a great opportunity to uninstall all the kind of junk stuff that comes with it, like Spotify and some of those other things that you'll probably never use on the Ally, and then work on getting your games installed through you know Steam and the Epic Store and the Xbox Game Pass. So very easy process. If you have any questions on any of the steps we did, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer. But yeah, this is this is pretty easy. The only things like the caveats I've talked about is make sure that the battery is unplugged when you install the new drive and then make sure you plug the battery back in obviously before you put the cover on and then make sure you have the SD card out if the SD card is inside of the Ally when you install Windows, sometimes it'll install to that card. I've had that happen before and it's no fun, just how slow, you're like, why is it so slow? Well, installed to the SD card. So you'll have to go through the installation there once again and make sure you're using an approved AC adapter charger for the Ally to charge it up and you know, just make sure it has enough wattage. And there you have it, how to install Windows 11 on your ROG Ally. If you haven't already, make sure you watch my other video on how to update the storage on your ASUS ROG Ally. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.